Hello and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Alfonso Peluso and I'm an associate teaching professor in the College of Architecture at IIT, the home of the legendary Mies van der Rohe, and I'm adjunct faculty at Columbia College Chicago in the Interior Architecture program. Shout out to all my students. I hope you're doing well. It's a nice sunny day in Chicago. I hope the weather's great where you're at. Today, we are gonna look at mid-journey prompt weights. So this is another tool for your prompting skills. As you know, mid-journey is all about prompting and writing a good prompt may give you the image you're looking for. All right, before we jump into it, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, what are you waiting for? Click on subscribe, click on the little bell to receive all the notifications. See what I'm up to. Recently, I finished a summer class on design visualization with my students and we looked at all the real-time rendering engines. So we looked at Enscape, we looked at Twin Motion, we looked at Lumion, and I have videos for all of those. Just recently, I've been getting into AI and I'm so excited about it, it is super fun. So I have a couple mid-journey videos and this one being the third and a Photoshop AI video. If you're into digital design, there is something for you on my channel. All right, connect with me on Instagram at my first name, Alfonso, underscore my last name, Peluso. See all the AI images I'm making. I've been making one a day for the month of July and I'm gonna keep doing it. All right, prompt weights, let's get into that. So what are prompt weights? Well, if you're looking for one part of your prompt, to be more influential on the mid-journey bot, then you're gonna to wanna to add prompt weights. If you want more of something, you can use prompt weights. If you want less of something, you could use negative prompt weights. So we're gonna just start with a simple, simple prompt here. So forward slash imagine. And I'm gonna hit the space bar to get to the prompt there. And I'm gonna type in tall building blocks and let's see what mid journey gives me i'm going to use a an aspect ratio so i did a space after blocks and double dash ar and i'm going to do this nine colon 16 so nine by 16. now today is all about the double colon and we'll see that in a little bit here All right, so let's take a look at our results. I'm just clicking on that and then I'm hitting the space bar and that opens it up in another window on my browser at a larger scale. All right, so what Midjourney is trying to figure out is trying to figure out the difference between a building and a block. And it's also maybe making a building that's made of blocks. So in some of these images, it looks more like toy blocks. So in the top left, that looks more like toy blocks. In the top right, it's kind of like toy blocks and a building. So things that we might find in building are things like windows and maybe roofs and things like that. It's putting some trees in there. Uh, in the lower left, it's stacking some buildings, it looks like. We're seeing some things that look like maybe the Empire State Building. And in the lower right, yeah, Midjourney is still struggling between the difference of a building and blocks. So we can help mid-journey out with some prompt weights. So let's look further into that. So for my next prompt, I'm gonna type in forward slash imagine, space bar, and I'm gonna type in tall building. And I'm gonna put a space and then a double colon. Today's all about the double colon. That's how you work with prompt weights. So I'm putting in the double colon, and then I'm putting in two, okay, because I'd like it to emphasize and have more weight to tall building than my blocks. I'm gonna put a space after blocks, and I'm gonna put in the double colon, and I'm gonna put in one. Now, it's not that necessary to put in the one because the default for any word is one. So 
I'm just visually looking at this two to one ratio between tall building and blocks. And let's put in our double dash AR nine by 16. And let's see what we get with this. So as you can see, there's more emphasis on the words tall building than blocks. We're still getting a tall building made out of blocks, but those blocks look more building-like. They have more windows on them and more roof lines and things of that nature. I'm really liking this image number three in the lower left. I think that's a really kind of cool image that evokes an ethereal feel to it. I'm really liking that one. So we can go even further. Now I know, or I've recognize that you can only go so far with the weight. So 100 to 1 usually doesn't do much more than, let's say, 5 to 1. So I'm going to copy and paste this. Put in my forward slash imagine. Paste it in. And I'm going to change tall building to 5, just to see if we get more of building than we do of blocks. So let's see what that looks like. All right, are we getting what we want? Let's take a look. All right, so we're getting something. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's a little bit of a fight with mid-journey and, and prompting. And uh, is this what we want? I'm not exactly sure. But what I want to talk about now is negative prompts. Okay, I guess we've gotten away from blocks, like toy blocks. So our prompt waiting is working. Midjourney isn't making toy blocks anymore. It's kind of stacking buildings, okay? So we're getting what we asked for, tall building blocks. Now we can put in some negative prompts. So let's say I don't want any trees and I don't want any clouds. We'll see if we can get Midjourney to listen to us. So we're going to look at negative prompting, negative prompt waits. So I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste this in, forward slash imagine. And I'm going to paste that in. And I'm going to add in, I'm going to add in trees. And I'm going to put in the double colon. And I'm going to put a space after trees. So space after trees, the double colon. And I'm going to put a negative one. And then I'm going to put in clouds, double colon, negative three. And I'm going to put a space between the dash dash AR 9 by 16. And let's see what Midjourney gives us. All right, let's see what we have. Okay, so definitely, again, no toy blocks. Definitely something that looks more like building or building esque, especially the top left there. We have pretty much a tall building with some stacked elements to it. Uh, I do see some trees, but it looks like it got rid of the clouds, but it's kind of arguing with us. Like, I'm going to blur the clouds for you since you're not looking for clouds because, hey, I'm mid-journey and I like trees and clouds. <laughs> All right. Well, that's prompt waiting. I hope you enjoyed this video. My head's going to pop up in the upper left. Go ahead and click on it to subscribe. And in the upper right and the lower right, I'm going to put some other mid-journey videos. All right, have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next one.